Our Bible reading is Luke 1, verses 26 to 38, the birth of Jesus foretold. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favoured. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at this, his words and wondered what kind of greetings this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favour with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son. And you are to call him Jesus. You will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. The kingdom will never end. How will this be? Mary asked the angel, since I'm a virgin. The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age, and she was said not to be able to conceive, and she's in her sixth month. For no one from God will ever fail. I am Lord servant, Mary answered. I am Lord servant, Mary answered. May your words be fulfilled. Then the angel left her. Thank you, Sarah, for that lovely reading um, where uh, we see how Gabriel uh, approaches Mary and tells her that she's going to carry uh, the Son of God. Um, don't you love the way uh, Gabriel goes to Mary with such enthusiasm and excitement saying, greetings to you, woman who's highly favored in the Lord. Um, and Mary looks at him and thinks, you know, she looks at him with a troubled face, as it says in the Bible. Uh, I guess we do the same thing as well when our kids want to ask something from us. They have such enthusiasm. Um, and uh, and uh, Gabriel says to Mary uh, that she was favored, uh, that she was going to carry uh, the son of, uh, a son of God. Mary, mind you, was married to Joseph. And she was a virgin and she wondered how this was going to be possible. Um, the angel then explains to her how it was going to happen through the Holy Spirit. Um, and he goes on to tell uh, Mary about how Elizabeth was six months pregnant. I guess this in a way made Mary believe Gabriel. And um, I love the way Mary says, uh, I am the Lord's servant. Uh, may your word be fulfilled. Uh, can you imagine somebody coming to tell you that um, you're carrying the Son of God? And oh, what would you say? Um, you know, we have been promised so many things um, by God. Um, do we say, may your word be fulfilled? Uh, I just want to challenge you today and say, uh, you know, all the things that God has promised us. Uh, just be humble and say, may your word be fulfilled and be hopeful. And um, let no fear overshadow um, your hope because God promised us that through him, nothing is impossible as it says from the uh, verse 37 in that uh, reading that we had. The angel Gabriel does reassure Mary that um, for no word from God will ever fail. Other Bible verses will say, for with God, nothing is impossible. So I just want to challenge you today and I want you to sing and say, you know, I am highly favoured. And with God, nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible with God. Oh, God is a God of possibilities. 
just have that in your mind. Have a wonderful day.